Yo, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be discussing the expander, more exp more specifically, what a expander does. Let's dive right into what the heck an expander is. There are two types of expanders we'll be discussing in this video. Well, there are only two types of expanders. The first one we'll be discussing is a upward expansion. And then the second one we'll be discussing is a downward expansion. Both of those expanders work on five commands that will determine how the expander works. Those are threshold, the attack time, the release time, the range, and the ratio of that expander. The reason people use an upward expander is different than a downward expander. Um, the preset file that we have in uh, Discord for the microphone setup in Equalizer APO is actually a downward expansion and there's a reason for that. So we'll discuss all those things in this video. You might be asking yourself, what the heck is an expander? Expanders are helpful dynamic processing tools that increase the dynamic range of an audio signal. They are essentially the opposite of a compressor which decreases the dynamic range of an audio signal expanders expand the dynamic range of an audio signal there are two types of expansion upward expansion and downward expansion downward expanders reduce the level of an audio signal below a threshold and upward expanders boost the audio level of an audio signal above a certain threshold there are five commands that operate an expander we have the attack the release, the threshold, ratio, and range. The attack sets how fast expansion responds when a signal level crosses the threshold that you set. The release time sets how fast the expansion then recovers after a signal level crosses the threshold. The threshold is setting the level where the expansion begins and the ratio sets the amount of expansion that is going to be applied to the audio signal and the range limits the maximum amount a maximum amount of applied gain change what you're looking at here is an example of what an upward expander would look like an upward expander is often used to emphasize the peaks of an audio signal um, it will increase the audio signal for everything that is above the threshold that you set for that expander. Uh, upward expansion is useful for adding excitement and attack to highly dynamic sound sources. Uh, for example, in mixing music, they often use upward expansion for things like drums, percussion, synths, uh, guitars, piano, and vocals. Essentially what you're doing with this upward expansion is applying a boost in the audio signal based on the ratio that you have set for that expander. This expansion will not exceed the range that you set for the expander as well. So no matter how much expansion you apply to it, it will not exceed the range limit that is also applied on that expander. More importantly, we don't really use upward expanders too much when processing audio for video recording or live streaming. We use the downward expanders. Downward expanders usually are used to reduce things like background noise or hums and microphone recordings, um, lowering the noise from guitar amps, fading out sounds. It applies a very creative gating effect um, similarly to a noise gate, but what it will do is reduce audio at a certain level. Um, and what we're doing with our vocals is cleaning up the vocals so they sound very, uh, very full in a sense. We're eliminating unnecessary frequency ranges in our voice by setting expander and eliminating those lower lower frequency ranges uh, you can think of an expander a downward expander as an advanced noise gate the primary difference between a noise gate filter and a downward expander is the fact that a noise gate filter is somewhat more aggressive and it usually cuts off where you place that threshold um, so making it a lot more abrupt in that audio signal. 
Whereas a downward expander, you can set things like the attack time, the release time, and the ratio in which the expander works at. So it has a lot more natural, smooth, and fading sounds to the vocals when applying that downward expansion. Um, this calls for a lot better listening experience and also doesn't cut off audio signals. It's less aggressive. Not only that, it's more fine-tuned. You can target specific ranges within your vocals using an expansion. If you're doing a pre-recorded video, you can go back and expand certain portions of that vocal or the music, so on and so forth. So it's a very um, strategic way of using it. In addition, some downward expanders have a range a range setting which allows you to set the maximum amount of attenuation that will happen so it never cuts off the signal entirely. It's a neat function, it's a much more strategic way of setting um, noise reduction within a audio signal. The preset file that we have for Equalizer APO in my Discord server, which by the way, if you're not in my Discord server, you should definitely join. We got a lot of smart people in there. When it comes to setting up voice meter, we make it fairly easy. Um, we offer free help for setting up all kinds of stuff. So definitely check out the Discord server. While you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe for more content just like this. When you're looking at that preset file that we have set up for Equalizer APO, what you'll see is that that expander set in that file is a downward expander. We set that threshold to negative 40 decibels with a ratio of 1.6 to 1. Now the attack time is fairly strong while the release time is a bit slower. What we're trying to do is we are kind of suppressing unnecessary sounds, but we're also leveling the whole mix together um, at the same time. All right, let's take this graph for example. On the left, we have the amplitude and on the bottom, we have time. This is an audio signal that would be produced in something like Audacity if you were to record a microphone recording into Audacity. What we have done is set a threshold where that dotted line is. The expander ratio, as you can see on screen, is two to one. What you see happening is once that audio level surpasses that threshold by negative four decibels, it will then be expanded to negative eight decibels. Same with the negative six decibels being expanded to negative 12 decibels. Now we're going to take a look at what an upward expansion looks like compared to a downward expansion. On the left, you have the upward expansion. You can see the threshold of that upward expansion along those dotted lines there. And what you see is that audio signal being stretched out quite significantly and being expanded. On the right side, you can see that downward expansion. You have the audio signal being somewhat thinned out in a sense. I felt like this example would make a lot more sense to you guys since you might be more familiar with Audacity or Adobe Audition or doing recordings in OBS and throwing them into um, something like Premiere Pro. So this is what an audio signal would look like and this is what it looks like after it's been expanded. It does take some time getting used to applying an expansion filter to your microphone or any of the recordings that you're you're toying with. Now that you've watched this video, I hope that you can understand how an expander works better and it will help you understand how you can apply it for yourself. There's really no like specifically right answer when applying an expander to a recording on your microphone. The logic stays the same. The downward expansion is used to suppress usually used to uh, suppress unwanted sounds or create a nice fading and smooth listening experience whereas an upward expansion is usually used to increase the excitement of a certain audio signal within an audio recording if you apply the logic that i've offered you here in this video to your audio signals or to your microphone i promise you it will help you understand how to get that sound that you're trying to achieve. I myself offer free help with this stuff in my Discord server. I highly suggest joining my Discord server. Link is in the description below. Also guys, I have a Patreon page. The first tier for my Patreon is like three bucks. Link is in the description below to my Patreon as well. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh.